Arcade. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Resonance Arcade. It is Saturday night, and we are live. As you can see, it's not the normal setup here. Today we've got uh, we've got a few, well, all new faces apart from myself. We haven't got Steve or uh, or Sam today. Well, I've been and, not before. Well, not all new faces. <laughs> but, you know, new, newish. Um, but yeah, as we, as you uh, you probably noticed if you follow our uh, Twitch channel or our uh, our Twitter channel, we have we're at LAN Ops. So it's a bit different. We're all in one room. Hopefully the sounds alright. Hopefully this, the the quality of the video is good enough for you guys. And uh, I'll let everyone introduce themselves slowly uh, around. We'll start with Mal. I am Dan. Dan, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> or Mal, oh, Game Mal, Attack. Mal, 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 Dan. The Game Attack's and Malpractice and uh, just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's nothing, nothing to pin. That's no, no, that's good. That's fine. Um, go on then. Uh, my name is Thorno and uh, I'm one of the event organisers at Lanops that we're currently at, lanops.co.uk Good stuff. I'm Chris, as you all know. I uh, run the show and that's about it. Um, uh, that's it. Right? <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Skullman. Um, Part-time gamer. Uh, doing my own YouTube channel. Um, it's only just picking up. Uh, that's pretty much it, really. Plays lots of games. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah my it. name's Millie. Uh, I've been a PC gamer for longer than what I can actually remember. Uh, my first console was uh, PlayStation 1, uh, and then after that, I've just played PC games. Um, I've recently got into Pokemon Go, just like everybody else, <laughs> um, but a bit more obsessed uh, than 40 miles last week. Uh, really loving it. 40 miles, it's, I did 40 miles on my bike last week. Fucking hell mate, that's a lot. I, just, yeah. I, don't, I don't understand why there's so many people wanting to Well, I'll tell you what, let's kick off with Pokemon Go, because that's pretty much what everybody on the planet, apart from Thorno, is playing. No, no, no. <laughs> so I, I, I picked it you up. Don't? No, you haven't played it. I picked it up when the APK came out, and yeah. it wasn't actually available in the UK. I tried it out and I thought, it's alright, I quite like the, the augmented reality and everything. And then I found there's nothing else to it, and I thought, Where's the content? Where's the depth? Where's the? I mean, I say where's the depth for a lot of games, but yeah, but that's coming out further on. It's coming out. It's meant to be like trade and stuff like that. It's coming out in December. Yeah. This is Holly, by the way. Hi. Yes, sorry, you can't see you can't see Holly off camera, but um, so we, we have an observer as well. There's, uh, there's probably going to be some uh, obscene stuff when people realise what's going on as well behind us. So that's why it's uh, it's yeah. adult today as well, just in case you never know. Um, yeah, I've, I played. I played it the day before it came out. I got the APK yeah. like you. I, I knew about it, but I was like, I just haven't got the time. And then I, I downloaded it, got my wife into it after she kind of reluctantly decided to have a go. And she's now miles ahead of me because she's got more free time than I do. And it's like it's just put me off, it's put yeah. me off entirely from from it's, playing it. The, there is more depth to it than what people actually know. You need to get there level is. five. Yeah, I think so that's when the game actually opens up to you start doing the gyms and stuff like that. Get level 5, um, progress from there, go catch more Pokemon. Um, <laughs> uh, but there's a lot more, there's a lot of hidden stats that are currently getting um, figured out and uh, mined from data that people receive, um, which is like height, which affects a lot of the uh, gameplay, uh, oh, yeah. which increases health. So the, the taller your Pokemon is, the more health it has. Um, and also the actual weight stats um, affect its defence and also affect its um, attack um, power um, and attack speed. Yeah, you were talking about the the excess and XL yes. like yeah, properties yeah. just there. I, I I I knew that there was like diff every, all of them have different HP, yeah. you know, and and if you're a lower level, you get you get lower level Pokemon, so you have to yeah. you might as well just wait to spend your Stardust. Like yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I mean, I didn't know about the XL and XS, and you gave me some hints yesterday on yeah. the, the, if the XS ones are faster at attacking and yeah. that kind of thing. I gave up like on Wednesday last week because I, I, my wife got two levels ahead of me, and I was like, I haven't got, I, I, I can't have it, I can't have it. I've got to say, I either give up or or she's beating me at something, and that's not on, not on at all. It's, uh, I just don't. I mean, like what you're saying, like the the depth and things, like that'd be cool and everything. Like all the different stats, but I don't. There's no actual battling in it, so I don't. The problem see is, it's why. free alpha at the moment. I can't. You can't expect to have everything all at once. Yeah. It is in early stages so, at the moment. It got. I think it's got too big, too quick, 
Oh yeah, definitely. Um, and I think that the player numbers will start to dwindle a bit. Yeah. Um, and I also think that at some point they may do a wipe, um, but you'll get all your gold back that you've spent. Right, if, if you've spent gold. Yeah, for real money, yeah. And that's another thing as well that we didn't realise early on. Um, the, the, the first thing was, I, I went around and I went, the first time I saw a Pokestop, I went around and like a, a, just to see what they were, and I just clicked on them, pressed on them and that was it. And I didn't spin them or anything, I didn't know what the hell was going no on. Because there's no guides anywhere. So, you know, I eventually figured that out, that's how you get extra balls and portions. But then um, the same goes for the gyms. The first time I attacked a gym, it's it, it's really weird. It's the most social but most anti-social game in the world because you're all staring at your phone, but everyone's talking to each other. See, we go around in group. There's about fifty yeah. of us that go around. Yeah, yeah. And we all organise to meet up and then go, and it's just. There's a few groups in, yeah. around my area that do exactly the same thing. They they yeah. they obviously go out and take all the gyms, yeah. and then you're supposed to cash in your coins. You know. Yeah, but that's right. Yeah. I I because because I don't have anybody to go out with apart from my wife. I go at, at six o'clock in the morning. And I take as many gyms as I can, and then I take get as many coins as I can. But by you know, by the time I've got four or five gyms, that uh, one of them's been taken again. So, yeah. Drive by gym taking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, me and my friends go out, and when we see somebody by themselves, um, I'll normally speak up and say, "Are we liking the game and things?" And then if they are by themselves, like, "Do you want to join us?" And I've um, I've got two people added on Facebook that I didn't have two weeks ago. Um, and I've just been out with not my non-Pokemon friends. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, on one occasion with just them, um, yeah, yeah. which is good. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I, I said we've we've spoken to so many different types of people. I, I, I said I've been out on my bike, and there's been people who've been. Oh, it's much easier in it if you're on a bike, but you have to stay below like ten or nine mile an hour because. Eggs don't count on. No, it's just because we, we obviously drive around in cars and stuff like that, we go to different places, like yeah, yeah. in Sheffield and Wakefield and stuff like that. We found out if you drive less than 25 miles per hour, it actually counts for your eggs. So we've been dri driving 20 miles per hour well, and we had just eggs. It definitely doesn't <laughs> for me. I've, 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 uh, I, I've heard different sweet spots from different people. My, mine, mine definitely doesn't register mm. anywhere near like 10, 10 mile an hour. Nine anything mile an hour. Like that. Nine mile an hour is probably the, the, the cap. No, but then again, I'm on a bike and it's not that accurate with the speedometer, so it could be. But then it's, I'm not going to be doing an extra 15 mile an hour, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been Unless doing like 20 everywhere, and they've been hatching. Yeah. Well, but mine, mine just doesn't register all of the kilometers I've done, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, but I mean, overall, the way I look at it is it's, it's massively hyped right now. Yes. It's. I mean, there's an insane amount of numbers uh, of people. It's the biggest stats here. It's the biggest. Have you actually got the stats? I've got well, some. They've stats only taken it. Sony in stocks, haven't they? Now? Yeah, they um, have. Yeah. Well, I haven't even got that particular stat, but they broke records in the App Store. They downloaded more times in the first week than any other app ever. Yes. Um, could add. Uh, the, the, I think it was three. But I've actually forgot. Got the number wrong in here, but it's, I, I think it was about three billion to Apple sales over the next two years, and that's just Apple who get thirty percent. Of, uh, of it, 35 million from tra micro transactions already. They've, they've used more on a daily basis than Facebook Mobile, which I think is insane because everybody use, use, uses Facebook. Uh, I think it is in it. That's the logged in time, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, oh, that might be. Yeah, that's yeah. the logged in this time. This is it. Facebook. It's like on, off, on, off. Uh, yeah, you nice. sort of open it up, you check, and you're off. We, we have another you. voice in the this background. Is, is well, the <laughs> Can you introduce yourself? Sorry. Sorry, Anna. my name's Brian. Um, I'm just one of the line attendants, long standing. Uh, also held one of the other LAN events at the Fag Factory. Oh, cool. Um, and I just saw a bit of a ghost at the moment, just in the house. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we, we, we all have moments like that. And, I know, I'm not getting much gaming time in. Uh, it was watched twice as much as over Overwatch uh, on launch week, that's on Twitch. Uh, or probably numbers have dropped off now. Oh yeah, I'm in the world. Yeah. Why, why, why would people want to watch Pokemon Go on Twitch? I know um, I don't get. I don't, it. I don't even want to watch it on my own phone um, half the time I'm, when I'm playing. Well, <laughs> I, I'm, I've currently been going on Twitch um, and reporting people doing their GPS hack. Oh right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, why would you do that on because, Twitch? <laughs> yeah. Well, there was I've a guy who was streaming um, d d uh, Dark Souls three hacks. For, for for weeks, he eventually got banned from all of the different stream channels. But he was he was he was, he was, he was soft banning everybody. It was it was awful. It was, people were just getting their accounts banned yeah. forever. You know. I, I posted in um, a chat and straight away the moderator mm. banned me from the chat oh, because nice. I said, "Oh, Pokemon goes about walking about, meeting new people, interacting with people you don't normally interact with." 
um, and just having a good time out and about. Uh, to which to which I got banned from the actual by the moderator. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? And that, and that's what they're trying to. Well, that's what the media have picked up on. Apart from all the, the negative <laughs> stories, like going too yeah. nuclear, too need too near ma- or going into mines. We've had from some kids in Surrey or something like that. We've had some people walk into a landmine or close to a landmine. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, Bosnia. Knocked over and everything. Yeah, like that. I nearly got knocked over the first but, day but, I tried. <laughs> but but the thing is, though, I, I hate the negative stories about mm. it. Well, the media is always going to jump on the negative. Yeah, exactly. always, yeah, yeah. They always jump on it, and, and, and that that really winds me up because how many kids get knocked over when they're on the phone texting a day? Mm. I guarantee it is more than Pokemon Go. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Well, it, but they're always going to they're always going to attach themselves to that. Well, plenty of other apps that have caused cafe yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> there is. Do you not think there's a, like a stare though? There's a certain Pokemon Go stare. You know someone's playing it yeah. Yeah. from the way that yeah. they are. Yeah. I mean, even if they've got the AR turned off, you, you just and also I, don't know what it, I, I, I find I can notice is. people who are playing Pokemon Go when they're in groups because they're all at the phone like that. It's well, like, yeah, in well, groups yeah, you can see that. But yeah, on their own, I'm not. I'm, it's like I'm, a little bit up in it. It's not quite all the way hunched over. It's like it's sort of a halfway yeah. to like being horizontal. Yeah. But that's but when yeah. they've got the actual camera on. Whereas I don't have the camera on mine. I just put it a little bit lower. But I'm, yeah, I don't. I've got the AR turned anywhere. off as well. Because you got to walk where you're going as well. So you can't yeah. really yeah. like that. Kind of like what? No, you just follow your map. You don't even have to look forward. You just follow map. Straight to like. <laughs> There's a late name, yeah, I remember we're walking um, in Doncaster where I live and they have a lakeside and obviously it's great because you got all the water Pokemon and um, I'm walking past uh, this mother and her son and you can see uh, the mother just like oh my god what's going on here and she had this big sulk on her face with a kid like that so I'm like, I smiled at her and she didn't really clock me and I got my phone out and I did the Pokemon pose <laughs> <laughs> as I was walking past her because I literally I was waiting to pick my girlfriend up and I'd only like walk just to get the Pokestop which is fantastic it's like Greg went out for a walk oh, it's and as soon as he saw me do that she fucking smirked so yeah, yeah. yeah I perked up after that it's I mean, absolutely comes brilliant. Down, nobody will want to go out then. It's <laughs> <laughs> all so, good fun. There was a couple more, uh, a couple more things. There's now a Pokemon Go dating app as well called Pokey Dates. <laughs> I, have, I, have, I have seen that. Yeah. I mean, I've I'd, not I'd seen give it a go that. if you know, I'm a single, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a, it like sl- swipe right, swipe left. <laughs> you've, already, uh, you've already got your common spin. ground. Let's give it. Let's actually give it a go. What's it called? Uh, Porky dates, apparently. Porky dates. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds a bit ominous, though, doesn't it? I want to have a look at this. Um, and like so there's a, a dude in America. I think I, I haven't got it here. Is there a lure button to like draw more people? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you, know, you could like, just set a lure, and that's a date, isn't it? Surely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get, Pokey get some match. people coming Is over. it Pokey match? Pokey You're, um, there's, a, there's a guy in America that's already caught all of the available Pokemon in his region. Yeah, 141. Yeah. 141. 150 odd kilometres he walked. Yeah, something yeah. ridiculous. But it's, he's, yeah. I, think I think his name was Nick Johnson, so props yeah. to him if that is his Jesus. name. He also yeah. paid someone to drive him around to get the last couple. Yes, he did. Yeah, he paid an Uber driver that's, to. It's a bit much. It's a bit much. Yeah, eight, eight miles a day, the guy was walking, apparently. But it's yeah. like that. I, I read a story on. Um, I can't remember where it was, but they got basically were a taxi driver and he wanted to earn a little bit more money, so people were paying ten pound, ten dollars an hour for them to drive wherever they wanted to. Yeah, there are loads of so uh, it's Uber were, drivers doing it. Yeah, he said he was booked from like eleven o'clock in the morning to three o'clock in, in the next morning. Madness. Yeah, it changed a lot of that. Yeah, like we were talking about it earlier, yeah. it changed a lot of businesses. Yeah. Like people like yeah. putting loads yeah. outside the shops, yeah. stuff like that. It, it's had a knock-on effect for lots of like minor things that you wouldn't think would have enough. You would have had an effect on the uh, pub called the Library in Leeds. Um, they have a lure active from when they open to when they close um, every single day, and the place is packed. It's absolutely That's packed about, yeah. all day. Mm. With, with students and every everybody at all. Yeah, that's the wrong reason people. though, that that's Well they're having a beer and <laughs> Well if they're going in the buying stuff they don't give a shit. Yeah well no, that's I thought I thought they were just there for the Pokemon. I didn't yeah. realise that the, the business was packed as well. Yeah yeah that's yeah, what I mean. Because yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. yeah. Because obviously they can sit there and it's like, oh well I need a drink I need this yeah. and yeah. Yeah. Sports, it's, yeah, yeah. it's all a knock it's convenience, like, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's all like, we're saying about the phone sales as well, isn't it? Should have put a lure down this weekend at one. Yeah. There's not. There's well, why though? Lure there's people no, here to no steal our pieces. There's no focus stop. Yeah, that's not a good idea. <laughs> no. No. Um, so I mean, I overall, I I've not just got bored of it because my wife's beating me. That is that. It's a bit of a lie. I got bored of it because of the content, which is pretty much what Thornos just said. It's to me, it apart from the walking aspect, 
I I just recently took up cycling again, like big time, and I have to go slower and use less calories to play Pokemon Go. So I'm in a I'm in a position where I'm not getting as much. Oh, you know, no problems at all. <laughs> no, but the, but that's that's the only reason that I, I really want to play it because the, the content in the game itself I don't apart from the you know collecting them all, which I think is I mean we all know that's the catch, isn't it? Yeah. There's not much else to it. It's not a particular. It's interesting that it's a, it's one of the first forays into augmented reality, but that's it for me, really. Yeah, I mean, I mean its predecessor, predecessor Ingress, yeah. did all right, but from I mean, what I've heard, Niantic are not a good company. I think it, all it is for me is it's, that's it's my childhood Pokemon, hmm. and it's bringing it back obviously to life. I'd say it's probably debatable how much augmented reality is help the game as well because it really turns it off exactly, exactly. Yeah. it's like it's a bit of a hindrance sometimes well, but it's still a, I mean I, I appreciate you probably connect that with the camera part of it yeah, but augmented maps. reality is the fact that you're out doing things in the real world like tied while playing a computer game yeah so there was a little bit when I was really into it for the first couple of days anyway I was a little bit I felt a little bit lost without the gyms in view if you know what I mean and I felt a little, it felt a little bit disconnected when I didn't have my phone on like, <laughs> like really, felt really weird <laughs> there's a gym there the, the, there's a lot of uh, pigeons that spawn there because that's all I was getting at the time Apparently pigeons and zoobats are actually quite rare in other countries. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I, know. I can't get rid of them. <laughs> uh, pigeons, zoobats and fearows. Fearows? No, fearows are the upgraded version of the Spearows. Spearows, that's it, yeah. So, um, enough Pokemon Go talking, I think. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Shall we move on? Yeah, um, we, we, don't play, we don't just play that game. So no, no, we don't just play it. So, um, well, I don't know. I'm going to let one of the guests talk about a game that they've been playing so much. You haven't said much, so what, <laughs> game, what games have you been you been playing recently? What are you uh, um, what are you into? Recently, uh, I mean, it's not a new game. It's been out for quite some time now. Uh, it's called Rust. Mm. Uh, All right, yeah. Do like uh, post uh, apocalypse sort of uh, a game where you start off with absolutely nothing, uh, and. You can go many ways with it really, you can either be uh, like a lone ranger uh, and try and survive on your own or you can band together with other people that play the game with you. Um, they have changed it quite a lot from when it was first brought out. They, said, didn't they, do a, they did an engine change at one point, didn't they? Yeah, the, I don't know what the engine was before because I didn't play it when it first came out, but when it did change, uh, they changed to Unity. I think um, it was the Source engine before. Because I know it was Gary, it's Gary Newman who did Gary's mod, wasn't it? Yeah. It looked yeah. Source to me I think when it I first was saw the videos. I'm not 100% though. Yeah. Yeah. So I've it, played both iterations. It was Source. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Source, yeah. Um, I, uh, the only experience I've, I've had with the game is uh, YouTube videos and some very funny YouTube videos as well, but I really do want to play it, but it feels like it's, it's a bit big for me, it, you know? It, it's a bit frustrating too. really, because you can spend hours uh, collecting resources, collecting uh, weapons, uh, building your base, to then just get someone else that'll be bigger and better than you to just wipe you out within yeah, like, yeah. an hour. Can the, can the, the server give? restarts? Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so the server restarts, so yeah. obviously one person can't become like, immensely powerful yeah so they wipe, wipe every everything. week all yeah, right so it's not like it's, it's, so some servers do it every week some do it once a month I some do it every two weeks because what what happens is people log on as soon as the server restarts and just farm and farm and farm and get blueprints and stuff and they'll just stay on the big people like they've 24 hours right. the blueprint system's now been scrapped oh, uh, right. now there's an experience system uh, everyone starts off at level one uh, and things you do inside the game, whether it's collecting resources or using a piece of equipment, or even, for example, if I came across you, I can give you an axe that will get me experience for you using it. Ah, right. Oh, that's yeah. cool. And as you level up, it unlocks the items. So rather than going that's to the rad towns and getting blueprints or uh, learning the items and potentially getting an item that you want, you just level up and you will gain it eventually. That's. I think that's a cool idea. Is, is there any reason to go to the Rad Towns now? Or uh, just to get the, uh... Yeah, because they still have weapons there, so if you go to a Rad Town, oh, okay. you still got your barrels and everything else, so you can still pick up weapons and stuff. Uh, but like, before you could research it, so if you picked up an item, you could potentially research it and then learn it. Uh, now you can't do that, because they've got rid of all the blueprints and the research. Into it. Is, is there currently a, sort of like, not abuse, but um, I'm guessing that can be quite abused um, quite a lot. 
because you can just literally get five people out farming using axes, take them back to one guy, and he just well, this is keeps on churning thing. things see, out because and just leveling up. If, if like a pyramid example, scheme. Yeah, like a pyramid yeah, scheme, yeah. It's quite funny, Maybe. really, because it doesn't benefit for you to raid. Because if you raid my base and take my items, when you use them, you're literally. <laughs> <laughs> you're training your that's, 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 that's an interesting mechanic, well. yeah. Yeah, yeah, because every item. If I, if I produce oh, an no, item from scratch. No, but, no, but do, do the people using the oh, items yeah, get the experience, experience right? as well. Uh, but if you look at the actual bar, it, it gives you a percentage. So say several people have had that, the first person who made it will get the most experience, and as it passes <laughs> down, they'll get oh, less wow. and less and so, less experience. So on a rad time, just like place a couple of chests down, and let yeah, people and just let take people items take from from yeah. yourself. Are you good? <laughs> um, well, just yeah. it, 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 does, it does work quite well because obviously it promotes you to be friendly, whereas before on the yeah. old system, people <laughs> just didn't care, they saw you, they shot you. That, I, I think that's a good it. thing though, because there was a lot of people like whinging about their bases well, getting That's, that's why they've changed it, because a lot of people are saying, why should I sit here for hours of my time? trying to get blueprints, trying to get resources for just a bigger group to come along and take it all. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of similar to like with DayZ though, the thing that really, I loved DayZ, I thought it was awesome, yeah. but after playing it for a little bit I thought, this is just a game for psychopaths. <laughs> there's literally, there's no end game, the zombies were broken, they weren't even in when I was playing it. There was no reason to play the game other than to, oh there's a guy, let's kill him, yeah that'll fun, next. Or well, let's pretend not to kill him and then kill him in 10 minutes. Yeah. It's, it's kind of the same with Russ really, because there's no real end game to it because this is why they put the wipes in i think because otherwise you just play you get all your stuff and then you'd be like well what do you do yeah <laughs> uh, you know I'm, it feels a bit lazy there. that though it feels like they haven't give it an end game when I mean, at least games like terraria have an end game they've got a uh, final boss you know that you build I mean, up to the game's still uh, early access, well it's not early access, it's uh, I thought it'd be released. released now. Uh, no, it's still out for oh, oh, really? Really? Yeah. 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 a long time. A long time. It's been no, a long no, time, but no. it, 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 they've not really officially released it because it's still being added into and they're still developing it. Um, just, just to change this, I say, don't you think it's a bit, getting a bit crazy with all the different alpha games and things like that? So it seems to be like I know that I know that you've talked to me about it before, it's, it's and, it, and, it, and it's I and I've bought games on Greenlight that have still got to be released and still got to be done properly. So you're talking about early access, of course, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, yeah, you, the, the incentive for early access, some garbage stuff. The incentive for early access for developers is that they get some funds to develop the game. Indie which developers. Is, I don't know. Cool. Yeah. Which I don't know how many of you have been involved in or, or spoke to indie developers in the past. Like I'm talking about truly indie guys, not not the AAA guys that decide to create an indie studio and get funded by someone and also put a crowdfund out there. And <laughs> Planetary <laughs> annihilation. Yeah. 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 There's plenty <laughs> of them out there. Um, I mean, even even some get even some uh, studios that are, that are independent. Um, Double Fine, for example, they've got their own thing now called Grape or something like. I can't remember, they've got their own crowdfunding Is site. Is Double Fine who did Gang Beast? No, 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 that was, um, that was Meat, not Meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> Boneloaf. Alright. Oh, oh, that's a great loaf. game, that. If anyone wants a game of Gang that, Beast I'm up awesome. for a bit of that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> local co-op as well, which is dying these days. Local co-op. Yeah. But yeah, no, yeah, the, the incentive yeah. for that is that, that, that they can get some funds to create the game, but yeah. then they don't realise that in order to create the game, the vision that they want, they need millions to do it. I mean, I've, tr I've tried to do my own game uh, in the past, and I've got so far with it, and then I get stuck because I don't have this, I don't have the talent to do this particular part of the game. You know, I don't know how to create models, for example, so I can't do a three D game. I don't know how to create graphics, so I can't actually do graphics, but I can code like anybody. You know, it's uh, it's it's really difficult to get the people to do it for nothing, or until they have some kind of. Uh, You've almost got to get someone to share, share your vision. You do, and it's it's really difficult. I mean, I did actually get that personally myself. I got a couple of people in America who were really interested in what I was doing. They, they helped me along, but they got bored because you know it's not that I, I said I wasn't. I was very clear with them, but it just gets to that point. It's difficult, yeah. and I understand it. But it does frustrate me, as I said, at the same yeah, time that there's so many out there now. But remember, it's a bandwagon as well. Crowdfunding works for people, so people are. Yeah just throwing money at it you know yeah. still it's, are. it's the pre-order culture that just 
I don't do pre-orders. Pre-orders <laughs> are just killing the industry. So bad. Like, what Square Enix did or with... Um, augment your pre-order. Uh, augment your... <laughs> Do you see it with all the, the it's just like the, Which one? The, 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 the tier um, Deus Ex, so they did the tiered pre orders so. and like the top tier pre order was a mystery and if you if this amount of people pre order then it will get revealed. You get an actual augmented limb. No, the game comes out two days earlier. Woo! Yeah. That happens with if you buy it from Amazon most of the time anyway. Yeah, it's it's just like <laughs> <laughs> The thing is the, the reason for pre ordering back in the day was so that you could guarantee that you'd get a copy on, on the, the day. Release. Because yeah. there were physical copies. You didn't they weren't and most that, of the time they were cheaper. Yeah. And yeah it it was day, cheaper yeah. and you got you got stuff for it, they were cheaper, yeah. you got in-game, not just in-game items, but you got items that were cool, yeah. not just like, oh, I have a new skin, woo! Like yeah, that. you got yeah. like a collector's yeah. edition, yeah. something yeah. like that. Nowadays, it's just pre-order, we want more money. Yeah, but they charge ridiculous amounts. Um, I've seen games where they're charging 70 quid, uh, and then as soon as the game comes out, it's down to 40. Yeah. What? Yeah, I don't, if you yeah, pay I don't, yeah, 70 pounds, yeah, for there you go to TVPs, like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> down to 20. Yeah. Just Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, yeah. Uh, that were 14 when it came out, and now so it's like 25 quid. What's because nobody's 16 on, on uh, EA on Origin because nobody's playing and, it, that's and, why. Yeah. yeah, but they still charge the 40 quid for the uh, season, season yeah, pass, yeah. which yeah, is well, like, like why, why are they releasing a game that when you buy it, there's already an extra DLC that you can get on day one. They do that all it's, the time. It's, it's, in like, in years defense, with, like, they, in years defense with it though, they tell you well before in advance, like this is gonna be the road path we're gonna do, this is what we're gonna do. Here's the base game, here's the game with the season pass and it's at a discounted price, so you can get it there and then and no, you just it, get it. it. But it's the fact that you have to buy it. What really, not, what really, really like annoys me is the fact that I play at land, yeah, and I and I buy the game, right? Good, right? But other friends buy the game, right? But you buy the DLC, and Damplet buys the DLC, and then you can't and play Holly, it. Yeah, and then you go to play this map that uh, that I can't play. So then I've got to fork out money when that's where they shot themselves in the foot with it, in it my is, opinion, because they didn't, didn't do. Like, so this is DLC X, you go in and play just pure DLC X games, and then this is DLC Y, you go in and play pure DLC Y games. They started mixing all the maps, so if you didn't yeah. have the DLCs, and you joined, the, the, the map just loaded onto a DLC map, oh, you got booted, that were it. And there were no way of knowing or anything, and that's where it went wrong. We, we come from a spoiled environment though, don't we, with like old FPS games where you used to download the map. Yeah. Off the yeah, server, yeah, yeah. if you connected yeah, yeah. to it, which was amazing. But yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Unreal Tournament, two games. Like um, yeah. Battlefield 4, for example, or even Battlefield 3. In the early days, when 2 and 1942 came out, like you just said, the map would come out, you download it, job done, that was it. Now, it's like, oh, right, if you want to play these extra maps, you've now got to pay another £12 yeah. just to get them, and, <laughs> and, and extra units or extra achievements. Yeah. And you think, well, why? Why, why do that? I. I quite liked, um, the, in terms of developers, big developers, that, that get it right, I think CD Projekt Red are very, very good at it. Yeah, 100%. Because they, they, off, they offer DLC, like everybody else does, but their DLC is, it's, it's massive. Wasn't that and DLC pretty much as big as the it, game? I think that the, yeah. it added like another 10 kilometers the, squared or something ridiculous to the game. The free DLC that came out oh, the fr was stuff with like, uh, alternative skins and stuff like that, stuff that you would expect would be like maybe three quid from somewhere else. Um, and then you've just got the expansions. The, I, can't I think the season the pass is 29, was. it was Hearts of Stone. Hearts of Stone, um, this which apparently is a really good. Um, it's Some people say it's better than the main story of Witcher, and then Blood of Wine's come out with Blood, of Wine. Um, Blood and Wine, the huge map. That they've released with uh, that c comes with that. Uh, it's uh, well, no. It, the thing is, is it's it's quality, and they've they've provided it for thirty quid, basically. I think it was for the entire pack. Plus, as you, I forgot actually, all of that free DLC, which is it's a fan service, and it really keeps people coming back to. I, I mean, I I thought The Witcher Three was brilliant. I thought it was one of the best games last year, or the year before, whenever it was out. But it kind of just got to a point where I, I haven't bought the DLC only because I got a bit like, 
towards the end of the game I was a little bit like oh, I want it, I want it to finish now but I know that the content is is pretty amazing and I know mm. I've, I've, I've had three of my friends buy it and they've all been like you should get it mate you should get it and I said I probably will but I just need to I need a rest first from it you know I need to come away from the Witcher for a bit definitely don't have it get the gold edition when it comes out because that'll have everything yeah probably, yeah. probably be cheaper and, uh, than a DLC itself, won't it? the blood and wine is uh, also amazing apparently yeah yeah I mean, it's Command and Conquer games back in the day. Like, yeah. I mean, I've even fucking learned to yeah, I've there. still got the Red Alert 2 expansion discs. Yeah, you, it's, it's just like, I'm a massive Command and Conquer fan, but the fact that it's just like, you bought why, the base why game. Did, why did it die off? Because it EA. Because <laughs> you know I mean? EA. the whole engine as well. No, it. just EA. EA killed it. They released Red Alert 3, which just demolished and retconned all the story. Then they released yeah. Red, uh, Command and Conquer 4, which was unfinished and spoilers. Well, just... The last um, cutscene was literally cardboard cut out. Yeah, it didn't it, finish it. It was it. crap anyway because they completely got rid of the way Command and Conquer was played. They, they brought they, in a whole new system. I, I kind of liked it, but yeah, for a lot of the fans, it looked like a big kick in the because nuts. Because I always liked the whole drag and drop idea and the, the idea of bringing in another command centre and then. It's like we've got Domino's order out back. You could bring in another mm -hmm. command centre. It was. Oh, we're going to get some food in a minute. Mm. It, 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 <laughs> It spoilt it for me personally, <laughs> um, but I think they tried to change it completely with generals when they brought out Commander. Yeah, Gen generals. I, I, generals, Gen I loved, Gen loved generals. No, no, I disagree. <coughs> generals, Gen generals is where I went. Absolutely fantastic. Generals is where I went. Yeah. No, this is not. This is not Red Alert because it was EA, but it was just. But what, what, was was that the first? So I haven't. The I first, the first, Red, didn't keep the first Command and Conquer EA game was Red Alert Two. Um, they then made their first boo boo with Renegade. See, my <laughs> the first person shooter. No, Renegade was still Westwood. Renegade it were was it was published Westwood. by yeah. I'm not sure when it was because I'm not a, a massive fan of the series. I did play the first one, Red Alert, and uh, it's not Legacy of Kane because that's Star Trek. It's the other one, uh, Wrath of Kane. No. Isn't that Star Trek as well? No, <laughs> Wrath of Cain is Command. Uh, Legacy of Cain's another Command game entirely, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Soul Reaver. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, there was Revenge. Uh, Red Alert Two. Red Alert Two was Years Revenge. Wrath of Cain was Command and Conquer Three. Yeah. All right. Well, that I played that, but I played it on a console, and I don't know why. I don't know. Oh, what, like the Xbox 360. I, sh I think yeah. it was a 360, and and. I thought I played about a level and I was like, I hate this radial menu and it yeah. just doesn't know. No. Why did I even think this was a good idea? No. And I haven't played I a, a Red Alert game since. was the last best. I, I, I did love that game. I played uh, a lot of that. But uh, I, I think I, it was the thing that really did it for me was, you know, there was, uh, uh, oh, shit, I just, remember, I just forgot the name of it. Um, Generals, yeah. generals, generals. It was, it was, it was. You know, some people didn't like it, like yourself. But I didn't. Know. Um, it was when Supreme Commander come out. A lot of people jumped ship. And, and it, was it just, and it just blew every RTS at that current sort of like, yeah. you know, stage out of water. I, I mean, you could scroll into your map. You could zoom in into your map. You could have it on uh, double screens with different options. I'm pretty sure um, there's still more people playing Subcom today than yeah, there is playing yes. Planetary Annihilation. Yeah, yeah, there yeah, yeah, there is, yeah. Definitely. Just because but Planetary Annihilation, I, 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 I were hyped for it. I like, like, like a lot of people, what? The problem with Planetary Annihilation, I think they tried to make it too complex. It's not complex at all, it's no, just no. you've got to micromanage so much. Yeah, but that's the thing, a lot that's of people my problem can't, with it. can't do that. Yeah. They just can't cope with it all. I mean, it's um, the micromanagement of the actual building. It's just like right, continuous build done. Go straight into this portal. Come onto this, out onto this other uh, planet. That's all right. Now it's just like right. I've got to go around. It's like playing cat and mouse, trying to follow people around yeah. all the That's planets. the problem. I was when it's, it's okay the base part and uh, yeah. and even when you've got your units near the base. Yeah. But as soon as you send them off for attacking, there are people who know exactly what they're doing. And, and I've watched some um, competition yeah. games from it. It's just all. Is it, I, yeah, I just don't like what is the it, fuck is going on. <laughs> is it actually? Is it actually competitive though? Yeah. Like, it, like it, is it? Is it at that standard of where? I don't you think know, it's really there's not. There's like, for, 
Don't so like Starcraft not, 2 levels. Like, like for example, we, we start with Starcraft 2. Domino's has arrived. Woo. With Starcraft, with Starcraft 2, there's oh, loads of different, different tactics and things like that, and no, not just one like <laughs> meta. Outside thinking. With I don't know what Plasma Annihilation, so is the like one round. route where everybody just goes every time? With, with Plasma Annihilation. Um, well, probably. I don't. I don't. don't I've, I've played it. I've played single player. That's it. I've, I've, oh, I've right. never dared. Never played it. Not play it. Oh, I wouldn't dare touch it. Multiplayer. For me, it doesn't compare much to Dawn of War. That's that's probably my. You know what? That's that's <laughs> that's quite <laughs> <that's laughs> <that's laughs> guys. A really nice game yeah. to this. Yeah. Dawn of War. Well, that's that's oh. an, a, a relatively easy RTS game to play, though. Isn't yeah, it? but I think it's got a more flavour. I like it, I really like yeah. it. The pathing on the game was terrible. Like I had so many problems with <coughs> units just getting stuck or just taking ridiculous routes. But <laughs> that, it's that, just that, it's just an just awesome game. Games, I mean even Company of Heroes. Well it's the same engine. Yeah. yeah, that's what I mean. It was just cool. it, it was all over the place. It's like the, the units just didn't know the best route to take. It's like I'll put this tank and I'll take it over there and you'd yeah. think, well it's just a load of bushes, it'll go straight through. No, it yeah, takes no, a ten mile detour. Yeah. You know, it's <laughs> like why? Yeah. But, oh, the no, Dawn of War, all of the Dawn of Wars right up to Dark Crusade, the original series was fantastic. Uh, really did yeah. enjoy it. I mean, it added Dark Crusade best, was broken as hell. No, broken in fun ways though. Yeah. He, he got so long more. as nobody played Necrons, it was fine. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that was the problem. Because you played bloody Necrons, that's why. <laughs> 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 oh look, it's I've got uh, a Necron Lord in my base, well I might as well quit. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's oh, you're it's running random. in, let's just deep strike some players. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's beautiful, it's like when you just get that monolith going. He, oh, he just teleports in and he just starts wrecking everything. Yeah, you, just, if you, anybody plays as Necrons, you've just got to go and take it straight away. You can't it, yeah. let them develop. The instant you let them develop, you might as well just rage quit because you are not going to win. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or just quit sensibly. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> but, like, but there was some really good. I mean, in terms of modding as well, that got some very heavy sort of mod community ah, behind it. I want to talk about this as well. Go on. Um, <laughs> especially um, when I used to play with my friends. It, the mods really did bring it out, and it's and uh, I think modding is just one of those things we don't do much nowadays compared that's, to. That's what I was. That's yeah, exactly what is, I was going it? to bring up. That's it. There are yeah. some games that go crazy for it. I mean, yeah, it depends again on the integration with whatever platform they're on as well, Steam yeah. Workshop and that kind of thing. But I mean, they've just brought mod into Skyrim, haven't they, for the Xbox yeah. One. Um, well, so yeah, it's still, it's pretty, it's in it terms broke of facts, the PC it? build. Yeah, it absolutely balked it. Unless you got the mods that were patches that oh, could irritate your bed. It, it was like, <laughs> Vic got into playing Skyrim again when they released that stuff and it was just like, oh you want to install pat mods? And no. 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 Um, yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Why does some, this is what I want to bring up, why do some, some companies go, we love modding, and then other companies are like, no. Because you're, you're, not, you're, not, you're not doing that, you're not doing this, but some of the best games that have actually come out have been because of mods in games. Counter Strike. MOBA genre. Dota. That, Dota started Dota, on Warcraft Dota 3. Come from, yeah. Bloody All Stars. Yeah. Oh God. Uh, I it, and I it, that that entire genre actually come from a mod in a game. Well, you know, and you now know, it's now it's the biggest genre. You know, the games it's, like it's, Rocket it's League. The one. That comes from a mod. That comes from Cardboard. Cardboard from UT two K four. Which is yeah. a, I mean, it's it's a huge thing now, isn't it? Rocket League. Yeah. I, I know. I, I don't play it that much myself, but you think I don't play any games the way I go on? But I, 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 don't, <laughs> I don't play multiplayer games that often. That's my problem. I think it falls in the same question of why don't we get as many dedicated servers as well? It's that's, just this yeah, idea. Everything's of peer to peer, and it's every, awful. Every, it's like just, we've, we've got we've like, got Call of Duty to blame for that with yeah. the IWNet. Yeah. Yeah. Once they brought IWNet out, yeah. it works. Don't get me wrong, it did work once they patched it and everything. But it's just killed Modern Warfare Two online gaming yeah. for a lot of people. Well, no, it's still still land gaming. No, not, not with Modern Warfare. Was it the first Modern no, Warfare? In Modern Warfare yeah. Two with, with the Pro Mod. Um, and, no. it just, and, it, uh, and on the PC, it just killed the competitive scene of Call of Duty games. It, it was like, oh, you've got a really good active. You know, a competitive scene there on Call of Duty. Oh, we're not going to let you do pro mod, and we're not going to be able. You're not going to be able to do yeah. this. You know, oh, no dedicated I, servers. It just, it, it just killed it. I was a major player of Call of Duty. I played a lot of Call of Duty on until pro mod. I played with Massive. friends for Call of Duty, but I was a I was a big Quake Two player. I used to yeah. play in leagues. I used to play. Uh, I well, my clan was doing all kinds of stuff like in all the, all the Quake 2 leagues basically yeah, love Quake 2. and I loved it and I loved the modern scene I loved the fact yeah. that there was maps coming out of your arse there was 
There was little there was tweaks. It's a little things as well. CTF c- yeah. capture the flag came from a mod. That whole yeah. idea, of, well, um, real life capture the flag came from a mod. Yeah, yeah. Team oh, Fortress was a mod. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, gun, uh, gun game. That that. Yeah. CS also come from a mod. CS is a mod. CS is a mod. Yeah, it's a total conversion yeah. of Half Life, yeah. isn't it? That's all it Gary's is. Gary's mod. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't really know what that is. I've got it's to be just, a, a, it's a sandbox. You just, you, just, you, just, you just build stuff. Yeah. It's like a bit, I like, played it a few times. I played yeah, uh, I think Murder, I think it was, wasn't it? Make uh, comic strips in. That's, that's, that's the <laughs> biggest <laughs> use I've seen of it. Kids making comic strips in it. It was a good way of crashing the sauce engine. You just yeah, make a yeah. pile of explosive bars, so, hit one, and then your frame rate go from like 120, 20, 1, and then they, they just get a crash. I'll put a duplicator on it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, everybody's just given like a really good example of, you know, their favourite games that actually come from a mod. And then CS go I, I, CS, I actually didn't know that come from a mod. Did you not know the original no, CS? No, I didn't. Because no, yeah, yeah. yeah. what played, happened I is it. I played 1.6. Let's play, I've got a version of 1.0 on my rig, we should play it. It, yeah, it's, it's, it, it came as a mod, it was an outside team, and then I think Valve, or was it Valve who took it over it? Um, it was, what it, was his guy? Gearbox. The bot team. Yeah. You know, do you know that Portal came from a, a, a game called. Oh my god, it's a great fact, and I've forgotten the name of the mod. <laughs> it, it was a. It was a, a University uh, project that was yeah. created, and it was basically just pro- uh, portals between two different realms, and it took you to do. You, I think I'm not sure if you could fire them in places. I can't remember. Hmm. I think I remember. I've, yeah. I've got I've done some videos on my YouTube channel of it, and um, that came from a mod. But Val basically hired the entire team of, of yeah. guys from uni, and then created I mean, Val, um, so, so, so why why are some companies? Because obviously there's so many games that people have you know just mentioned about it. Why? Why do some companies go no, and some companies are like, yeah, I think well, this is amazing. You know, why is that? I think it opens up a world of hate for them. It's just a big can of worms. They've got to be really careful with it. So games like yeah. I think Overwatch they, I think and League of Legends. Yeah. If people start modding that, what what they're going to start? There's a lot of cheating as well as proliferating around. Cheating, yeah, yeah. I think that's move. one of the biggest things, especially with competitive games. Again, looking at Overwatch, mm-hmm. League of Legends. Oh. There's not that many mods for those. You don't really get that many mods for Counter Strike Go now. I don't think. I've no idea. I, mean, I don't see that many community right, maps right, anyway. Right, right, right. There's, 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 there is there is quite a few mods for CS:GO. Um, a few five one three. one a map world well, surf. Um, this oh, is still this, surf. This, this, yeah, this yeah. is a, this is. A, uh, one of the most beautiful maps I have ever played in played in any game um, was CSGO and I just I just wanted to play surf and I loaded it up. Um, and you surf through um, islands um, made out of well land islands but you surf through them. Islands made them. out of land. I am a bit lost what uh, so, so, <laughs> so, so it so surf have you ever played it? Right, All so right. surf originally um, come from uh, the game where you can jump on top of a roof, right, and you can slide down it a bit. That sounds so, like that sounds like a so, combination of skiing from tribes. Yeah, and so basically, somebody, yeah. Somebody, yeah. so some so Edge somebody had the, the somebody had the idea of changing the settings in the game to like the gravity and the actual speed, yeah, so that you could actually ride on the roofs, and then started to make roofs into maps, right, where you can skate down them. That sounds like a combination surf, of tribes and uh, jump from like them, well, uh, which well, was a modding. I, guar- I guarantee yeah. it that they would have, they would maybe Quake actually it might have come from Quake, but and it, it it was really 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 good. And uh, again, I think there's there's games based around surfing. Yeah. Um, you know, and I said tri- cool. tri- tribes. Um, a bit, uh, who has played tribes here? Yeah. I know you two definitely uh, have. Not me. Not so me. tribes is a it's a multiplayer game. It's one of the last ones that I played competitively in, in a clan years and years ago. In fact, it looks awful now, but it was one of the first multiplayer games with good vehicles yeah. in it, and you could fly. Uh, you could you could. Well, you um, had the drop ships, didn't you? You, you had have, you like, had three people drop ships. So when tribes two had bigger drop ships, but yeah, 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 you had three people drop ships, or you had individual ones, and the. Um, can't remember the name of them now. Somewhere. But they, they had mods as well on there, and there was a mod called Renegades on that. Uh, but anyway, I've jumped ahead of myself. The whole point I was trying to say is that the skiing, um, the skiing mechanism was a complete physics hack, just like rocket jumping and um, circle jumping in Quake and Quake 2. Things to make you go faster because 
basically the programmers were shit. Uh, <laughs> really, I mean, I say that now. Well, that Car Max are god. They, they are gods at the same time, but they're also they were also shit at the time, and they didn't think of the fact that sometimes if you go <laughs> diagonally in a game, yeah, if you it, it, the simple things like if you add the two vectors together, you go faster. But if you multiply them together, you go at the right speed of the, that you should go. Um, bunny hopping in. Yeah, bunny hopping, yeah, yeah. that kind of thing. That is all bad programming, but it made the game awesome. Because yeah. everybody, that that added to the skill. I mean, if people who watch Resident Evil Arcade, me and my other friends, they're, they're, all, they're all big Quake guys, and they all know how to play it like properly competitively. Yeah. And that's that's the beauty and that is what's missing from modern games modern fps games to me there's not it's as broke, much broken skill aspects of involved the game. in it <laughs> those make no. it yes. harder to play <laughs> that make it, that make it that they they allow you to hone your skills everyone can do it but you you it allows you to have to learn something that's beyond the the, the limits of what the game is supposed to teach you if you know what i mean yeah i think one of the big things that came from little tricks like that is speed running Yes. Um, oh, God, I, mean, you still, I love I love watching Quake speedruns. Yeah, there's still yeah. people still Immense. set records, new records to this day for Quake One yeah. speedruns. Yeah, they were on the uh, SGDQ um, this year, and uh, just watching the guys do it casually speedrunning is still it's hypnotic. It's, it, it is, isn't it? It's just like you can just watch it. Um, I don't know if you've seen the new Doom speedruns, which no. are now under an hour. Uh, which is fantastic. For the latest Doom. Uh, yeah, oh, latest wow. Doom. Um, it's the same again where people just go, all right, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll hit this wall, we'll hit this wall, hit this. Oh, this wall's. Temp uh, oh, I can pass through this wall. Oh, I can just skip this map. I think a perfect, just perfect example, a perfect example of that is either Half Life yeah. 22. Um, which, if you haven't seen that, YouTube Half Life 22 oh, and just wow. watch it. It's Half Life yeah. 1 in under 21. It's like 21 minutes 30 seconds or something all the segments but together it's, it's a segmented run yeah. but it's you see the tricks and you're just like how the oh, hell did they even figure out yeah. some of this stuff it's honestly it's yeah. just and the it's trial and error isn't it it's, it's just trial and error but it, the guy who runs it i can't remember his name off the top of my head but he's like one of the best runners and or the main guy who runs it and he was a project lead on it and some of the tricks and stuff he's found out like you can skip out the entirety of one chapter if you just talk to somebody before something happens yeah, stuff yeah. like that um, the glitches to, and things like that in the game. Yeah. Like, I'm still, I'm still amazed by the Final Fantasy VII glitch, like the, the Yuffie glitch. Yeah. To get it. I was like, well, first time I saw that, I was like, what the? What just how are you? Oh, you wait. jumped to Sephiroth <laughs> just after. I didn't get it. Yeah. But. And and there's a there's a there's a few for the Elder Scrolls games as well where you can like jump on a spoon to get to the end of the level. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's ridiculous. I mean, I would, I, 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 that's one thing that's amazed me because don't they actually just literally just keep on running at walls and like yeah, yeah. just just yeah. try stupid stuff out just to try and like beat the game it's the, emergent the, gameplay that's the, that's the thing here the speed run that because i tried to not well not speed run but i used to have um sort of like a bit of a competition with um my best mate aaron who's in there at the moment um and it was trying to complete half-life 2 the quickest on the hardest setting yeah we you know we we we, we got it down quite low but I was watching a video um, of a guy playing Half-Life 2 and he got to the Lost Coast and this really blew me away because he just skips across the water, flies up in the air because he doesn't even get the sand buggy. Oh sorry, not Lost Oh buggy. yeah, I know what he you mean. He doesn't, he because, doesn't, uh, he's like, yeah. oh, sand buggy, oh that's too slow and just goes, Highway 16 yes, isn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah. Bunny up, bunny up, bunny up. Ping! <laughs> Just flies it's, up, it's just literally flies turns away. round and then just starts bunny hopping backwards, but he lines himself up perfectly mm. and he gets it. And as he's yeah. bunny hopping, he hits just an edge and just poof, flings yeah. himself off. That, that's yeah. it. Other yeah. side of map done. It's yeah, like yeah. twenty minute map yeah. done in minutes. It's yeah. fa it's fascinating speedrunning. It's it's one of them things that you some people are really really into, and and other people it's you know they see one occasionally it's like. Wow, I didn't even know that existed, you know. ESA started two hours ago, well, three hours ago. Right. Yeah. So, oh. Europeans 
like speed or something or assembly or assembly <laughs> um, which is one of the news items we have anyway we, we're coming up to the end of what the hour segment that we've we've put down if you guys want to continue that's fine i think the, the bar's opening soon and we've all got bits of food coming i've got food i want somebody's food <laughs> is food here <laughs> yeah, yeah. Food is, is Somebody, food. somebody's also doing a quiz or something yes millie <laughs> millie is doing a quiz uh, very shortly i've been told it's a blue quiz as well uh, it better not disappoint uh, me put it that way yeah. You will need my bleach. It'll be good. Nine bleach. Really. That's, that's it'll, good. It'll be or good. spoons. It'll be good. Definitely good. Or yeah. spoons. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I went through, well, well we went through a lot of pain to uh, bring you pleasure. Uh, <laughs> Is this what you were doing at last lap? Literally. No. Which one? The one just gone. We mean, the quest. Oh, Have you seen, did you see the one one? The last one? No. The Christmas one? The transvestite one? To give you a little taste. <laughs> so, uh, part of the quiz was dressing up as women um, and putting us on plenty of fish. This was well before that fucking guy did it. Are we allowed to swear? Well, we haven't. Well, we, we, have, allowed to swear? we are allowed to swear, but we no. have, we've managed to get away with it. Right. Just well, well, so, it, it was. There was. Uh, I read an article about a bloke, and that, somebody linked me it from one um, and said. Uh, you did this, you know, before it was cool. Or like, yeah, <laughs> you know, it wasn't cool anyway. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, I put myself as um, a saucy uh, girl. In, oh, get out my phone one second. Saucy. No, no, you can all no. have a good look at this. <laughs> I'm not sure this is appropriate I've, for the uh, for the channel, but. It's not what I am a dick out of, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like my sister or something. <laughs> He's an only child. I'd, def <coughs> I'd definitely hit it if. Uh, yeah, Dana, we should dress you up in a dress. <laughs> <laughs> if you look like me. Where is it? Where is it? When I had long hair? Yeah? Yeah, probably. <laughs> what has happened? Well, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, we're going so, off a bit, tra a bit off track here. Alright, oh, we're talking <coughs> about the quiz, aren't we? Yes, yes, we yeah, are. Let's talk about games again. So, um, we'll I think we've. Before. We've. we've, we've Unfortunately, I haven't got control of, of turning this off at the moment. I'm waiting for somebody to uh, to come are back. So, are you actually going to turn it off? <laughs> well, we're going, to, we're going to turn the, the stream off at some point. All oh, right. Oh, you're turning me off right now. All oh, right. <laughs> well, this well, picture might turn you back on. When I find this photo, you'll definitely get turned off. Oh, I've seen it. I saw it yesterday. Oh, I've seen it. I have seen it. Showed me yesterday. Yeah. Just before you you destroyed my car. <laughs> 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 I can't remember that time. Right, anyway, so let's move on to one other game before we finish then, guys, if you don't mind. Um, to be fair, there's a few of you that have written down Overwatch. I haven't played Overwatch. I know what it is. I've seen plenty of it. So, I mean, take it away. What, what do you think of it? Is it, is it good? you start. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the film Blizzard should have made instead of Warcraft. No! Oh, no. 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 Have you seen the shots? That's have it. you that's seen the that, Overwatch that, shots? Watch out, you're happening. Well, it's a good shout though, mate. It's a good yeah. shout. It really is though. Those animated shots are fantastic. They can put Pixar out of business with them shots they made. Absolutely brilliant. I've, I've missed out on all of what Overwatch. Again, I know what it yeah. is, but that's it. Uh, yeah. So Blizzard, like, up to the running of releasing it, did a series of animated shots. And to the quality of what you'd see from, like, a Pixar film. Right. They're very good shots. Um, and you watch them and then if you've ever seen the World of Warcraft film, you do just sort of think to yourself a little bit, why didn't they do that instead? Money, the, probably. The, yeah. Um, because it is a brand new game, everyone would have been on the same play, they wouldn't have expected to have tried to uh, have to understand the film. But the game, uh, it's definitely done really well. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, another game uh, that ran along at uh, well, <laughs> the least at the same careful. time. Was it Battleborn? Battleborn, but Battleborn's just... Died. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody yeah. gives a shit. What about was it, was it, it Battleborn was just PvE though? It, no, it, was PvE, a, no. it was more of a MOBA style of team shooter. That um, Lawbreakers got released as well, didn't it? Yeah, who's Has that, that, done anything? Who's that again? That's um, Cliff, Cliff, Cliffy B. Yeah. 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 Uh, I don't know, it just looks a bit too generic. Like they've, they've right. gone, oh, they do, they've done what Doom Multiplayer did, and when arena shooter but there's um <laughs> <laughs> but there's, there's right i played um, i played the doom beta multiplayer beta 
Uh, I, I got invited to it twice weirdly, oh. so I got to play it for two Ooh. weekends. But I have, hey. I've been told the single player is really, really good, and I really want to the play it. The single player on Doom is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. The multiplayer is absolutely garbage. garbage. <laughs> and this is coming from a pe- person yeah. who's Just played to add as a, a side lot note, of Quake. On that, the snap maps makes up for the, how bad the multiplayer is. And the the snap map, the pe- what people have done with snap maps is fantastic it's the, just like the, you get RPGs it's, you it's get, the arcade from Starcraft yeah. but in FPS that's yeah. about it absolutely brilliant there's some really good snap maps on is, there is but the it, campaign <sighs> oh my god isn't Love there an Overwatch mate. competition going on tonight here as well yeah we're, is, we're yes. playing a bit of Overwatch tonight at I think 11 o'clock or something actually right. yeah mm. it's just I mean for me Overwatch it's it's a cool game I just can't play it in for more than like 10 20 bursts it's oh, yeah, more, it's, yeah. it's just not it don't grab him so it's a it's class based moba yeah basically yeah, yeah, so it's not it's really not moba it's no. just team shooter right it is, it, it's just team fortress 2 but with heroes instead of classes right it's a game you're yeah. kind of playing, playing short bursts so it? yeah it's it's, it's very it's very um, hit and run yeah in terms of gaming it's not something you spend oh, hours and hours and hours on unless there's something specific you want to farm for like that's cooked here like a a skin or a you know, or a new voice or a victory but pose. Yeah, yeah. The big, um, biggest problem with it is the uh, the players. Like, you go into a competitive match and be like, oh great, it's, it's always players that are the problem with the game, but you go into a competitive match and be like, yeah, cool, so we need a tank, we need some damage, we need a healer, and we need some more damage, yeah. Oh, why have we got five soldiers or five widow makers? <laughs> it's just like, oh. You can't do it in competitive now. Oh, they, they, put, they, they blocked put, it. They put a limit Everyone in, is bad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it, it just kills the game. It get, you start the same with League of Legends where people go, no, I go mead or I feed, I feed. And it's just like, you're playing a team-based game and you've been an arsehole. Yeah. It's just... Do you level up individual classes though, in that, or do you just no, level up your no, you profile? Like, it's just like... It's, you to, yeah, it's just a game. Oh, Alright, so you just jump in and that's yeah. it, right? Basically, yeah. have an account level. No, yeah. yeah. You just earn currency. Sounds, sounds more accessible. I played a bit of Team Fortress, but I never played much TF2. In fact, I played it quite late on and got my ass handed to me on it. It was ridiculous, yeah. but... Yeah. I, I play a lot of TF2, so um, I, I I prefer TF2 over Overwatch, I think. But yeah, it's right. a bit dead. T- TF2 Overwatch. No, TF2. Oh, right. TF2, yeah. Yeah. Well, it died out a lot. It always, it always blew it's me not... away in TF2 competitive matches. When you actually saw them. 6v6, uh, I love watching that. And it's the. M- medic and, and Rocket Soldier. Rocket guy. Soldier. Rocket Man. <laughs> 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 that was bad. Uh, and just just jumping all over the place and healing and it was insane watching some of that place. We entered, because uh, no matter how much I played that game, I could not get to that level ever. No, we entered an ESL insane. match once, uh, Highlander. Uh, already, Highlander. Yeah, we watched it. it was Highlander, so it's a uh, nine v nine, one of each class, and it was a proper like sanction game and everything. I think on E ETF two L. ETF two L. That were it, and. We got our asses. And ETF two L's a league. Yeah, they're, they're, a, they're a league. They do. I don't know if they're still going. Actually, they might still be. But they, we got our asses absolutely handed to us. We lost every single game. No, we we won one by default because they didn't turn up. But that was it. And watching some of the guys in that game, it was just like we we'd only just come out of spawn and it just like oh we're all dead because they were a rocket uh, rocket man bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there were a soldier just flying about, just absolutely wrecking us, and it's just like. I'd like to get to that level, but yeah, I I, 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 I can't. I I used to, I said I used to be really quite good at, at the, when Quake was out. I used to play Rocket Arena two, and since then, I can't play a game without having my ass handed to me. And I'm talking about any kind of game online. <laughs> so I've got to a point where I, I don't really, I don't think I'm going to enjoy it. So I just don't even bother with half of the mobas yeah. and the you know the, even the FPS games and yeah. it's just. You know, if I've got a group of friends to play with, it's a bit different, but if you just go in randomly and... I can't even be asked with clans anymore. Yeah. <laughs> a, a lot of games always feel better when you're playing with friends. Yeah, definitely. It's like, you always try and put that skill gap up, don't you? I mean, the I yeah, a lot of systems, a lot of games now have like a ranking system where you start to like bronze one and you went out to silver gold and it's supposed to do like that way but all, all that does is it just encourages more haters it's yeah. like oh why is it scrub bronze yeah, in our yeah, gold team yeah, and yeah. like oh yeah, you're, you're only right. silver shut up and stuff, stuff like that and, and <laughs> there isn't a perfect answer yet 
But it's, it's just all it's old news to me. I did yeah. all the competitive scene like back in mid two thousands when I was playing Quake and everything. Now yeah. all these games are coming out now, and I'm just like. Yeah. I, Esports I, wasn't really a thing as well no, back then. No, there was it, a bit. The, 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 it was like an underground thing, like was, what, Fatality and um, uh, I can't remember the rest of them. Uh, there was, I remember like the only competitive games that I really knew about was oh, clan games, oh, and then occasionally just stick it there, Rob. It's all right. Thanks a lot. We're uh, we, we're going to close down in a minute. We're going to finish the show very shortly. Um, but it was like I played clan games on online. I see you had to use MSN. We didn't even have, we didn't even have voice comms. I asked, I asked, we didn't even have voice comms. I spent weeks setting up config files that had that that per map uh, had three keys and it told all my mem the t members of my team where I was on the map and everybody in the clan had them and we we memorised exactly what to do. You have to press plus to change your map to the twin. RA2 map 23 or something <laughs> and then use these three it's ridiculous I've still got all the configs but it's like yeah I was going to play that yeah it? that's no chance yeah. I memorising that I played uh, Medal of Honor uh, competitively um, I did the Spearhead expansion for it and they, they were really good a lot slower game uh, compared to things like Quake and whatnot yeah, they were very, very much just like a, a campy move slow kind of thing yeah yeah but shit um, it was just again just like a lot of effort you had to do to like go to the website, yeah. sign up for the league, hook up with the person you were fighting against on MSN, like, oh, which server we're joining, have you set it up, this sort of thing. Yeah. I mean, a lot about streamlined nowadays, but a bit of magic's lost a bit because of it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, anyway, so talking about competitive games, we better close the show down. We've all got food now and the bar is open, which is much more important. So Competitive. Um, whoop, whoop. Bar. Competitive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That was the best thing you said all night. So thank you very much, everybody, for coming along. Uh, it's been uh, it's been a good chat. We probably could have extended it for more, much more hours. But oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. been a good one. And, yeah, we've got some new 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 games in there, like Pokemon Go, etc. And uh, thanks for the additional people that turned up as well. I didn't expect anybody else to come around while we were... We were <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's, 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 it's all oh, the more the more the merrier. Um, but yes, so thank you very much, everybody. And uh, if you need to know anything about Lanops, it's www.lanops.co.uk or at Lanops on Twitter, isn't it? Yep. Yep. And you know our details, so I'm not even going to go about that. Um, unfortunately, the person who's turning us off is playing Paragon at the moment, so <laughs> we can't. I can't turn us off. So you're just going to have to. Talk amongst yourselves while we don't turn the stream off. <laughs> so, um, sorry if it cuts off in the middle of a conversation, hey? Is she who wants to do that? Well, I'll let them talk, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see. But anyway, thank you very much, everyone, and see you later. <laughs> see you. Yeah.